Oh, this looks good for dinner tonight. What if we have this uh, tortellini with mushrooms? All we have is potatoes. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, well, this is good. How about a crunchy nut muesli? Potatoes. Oh, okay. That's it. It's uh, all we have. Okay. Oh, oh, crab brulee with a spicy mint Potatoes. We have nothing but potatoes. Um, That's all we have to eat. What if we just eat raw potatoes? I'm so glad you're the one that's in charge of this. Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and today we're going to be making pumpkin soup. Now, I think it's really important that everyone knows how to cook and prepare their own food and that people know how to garden, but just as important is the skill of being able to marry those two things, to be able to cook using ingredients that you might grow in your garden. I know lots of people know how to cook, but it's a lot of exotic ingredients that they can't necessarily generate themselves. And these ingredients for this are all primarily things that I can generate here myself. A few of them are sort of spices and things like that, but those things are easier easy to stack and prep and, and, and kind of store up ahead of time. The primary ingredient in pumpkin soup is the pumpkin. And I've got two jars that I've canned. Uh, these are recycled uh, Newman salsa jars that I filled with can uh, pumpkin that we grew last year. Uh, this jar has been used a couple times and the, these pumpkin uh, mixes have been sitting for about four months or so. And they, they haven't popped, they seem good, but they're gonna get cooked anyway, so even if they did get a little botulism, it would get cooked off anyhow. Uh, the next ingredient is something that I bought at the store. This is just milk, and this is condensed milk, because condensed milk is easy to stack and prep. Um, I don't have my own cow, and I don't have any immediate plans to do that, uh, but milk is kind of a, um, a discretionary ingredient anyway. It makes the soup a little creamier, and it's nice. Uh, so if you didn't have milk, it wouldn't be the end of the world during the end of the world. So. Uh, that's the next ingredient that we're going to be using. Uh, we have onion, and we're going to saute the onion a little bit ahead of time. Uh, this is something that's easy for lots of people to grow. Uh, I don't always put in garlic, but I found some garlic cloves in my refrigerator that were starting to go a little bit mushy and moldy, so I saved those, and we're going to put those in. And just a little bit of hot pepper. This is some uh, jalapeno and some habanero in there. Uh, we're going to put that in for spiciness. And then to make a broth, uh, I'm just going to use some bullion cubes. And bullion cubes are super easy to stack and prep, and I have hundreds of these things. Um, of course, you could make your own uh, broth as well uh, with some simple ingredients, so you could do that also. So the first thing we're going to do is put the pumpkin in. So, ooh, there's the pot. Okay, would you dump that in? We may need to have a, may need to have a scoop. I can't get a scoop for you. Is that going to work out? I don't know. Okay, how about how we do this? I can do it. Okay, why don't you scoop that one out? Okay. And I'm going to open up this can of condensed milk. Now this is not, uh, oh, it's not condensed milk, it's evaporated milk. All right, I'm going to open up the milk. I can't do it anymore. Okay. All right, well, uh, I want to use a spoon. Where's the spoon? It's in there. Oh, yeah. There you go. You put it in there. Yeah. So, uh, you're noticing that I'm not measuring any of my ingredients, really. I mean, I'm kind of eyeballing them. That's the way I always work. Um, and I know I, I get a lot of criticism for that, but uh, honestly, it, the, ingredient, the, the recipes pretty much always work out pretty fine. I, I, you know, for me, as long as I'm getting within 90% of, of perfect, I'm good with that. You know, and all the recipes... Uh, every time they're made, they, they come up maybe a little bit differently. I'm just going to use some water to wash out the rest of that. You want to put the rest of that in there? Right. Now there, there is a little pumpkin left in this guy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. Put the lid on. Shake it up. And we'll try to get the remainder of all that nutrients. If this was in a collapse environment, we would definitely want to make sure that we are capturing all that nutrients out of these jars. That one looks pretty clean, so we don't have to worry about that one. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is take these two bullion cubes. Can you unwrap those and put those in there? 
And these are just vegetarian bling cubes. You could put chicken or, you know, I don't know if you'd want to have a beef pumpkin soup. I don't know, I guess you could. That'd be fine. But these are just vegetarian, like just vegetable broth. Uh, Look, what's this? That's the bling cubes. You put that right back, right in there. Uh, normally I would saute the onion, but for today I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna chop it up into little bits. It's a little awkward. I'm, I'm sitting down so my face can be in the same shot as the, uh, you know, what I'm doing here. It's always a little hard to get my face in the same camera shot as uh, the work surface when I do this kind of thing. I will oftentimes have some goggles. Some swimming goggles when I do this, because I my eyes are really susceptible to getting that that onion drying influence. Good job. Okay, there's a few little pieces left in there. If you can kind of pick out those last little pieces and throw those in, those are good flavor. Uh, but today I'm just winging it, and hopefully I'm not going to get any uh, no tears for the camera. Okay, so the onion is all chopped up. One tool that I think is really uh, useful is one of those little immersion blenders, and I've got one of those. And after I cook this for a while, I will definitely run that through. Why are we okay. doing that? Uh, well, now what we need to do is put all the onion in. Can you take the onion yeah. and put it in there and try not to drop any? So take little little piles of it. Like this? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, and I'm just going to chop the garlic right up into there. So I don't have to be super meticulous about making this really fine because I've got the immersion blender. And I think immersion blenders are just a really great tool for taking a soup that's kind of mediocre and really blending all the flavors together and uh, making it really delicious. So I like my immersion blender and it doesn't use much electricity so it even works, you know, if the grid's down and I need to just run off one of my battery bags. Just try and get most I can. Okay, you're doing very well. And the last ingredient I have here is just that, that hot pepper. I'm trying, I don't want to touch it with my hands. I learned the hard way that you don't want to get habanero oils on your fingers and then rub your eyes. All right. So we just get all this in there. And the next step is that we just, you know, I'm going to add a, maybe a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. I can do it. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be kind of careful about how much you put in because I don't want to put in too much. You want to get it to be like a soup consistency. I'm doing uh, Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you start, you know, make sure it doesn't splash out of there. And you want it to just be sort of a soupy consistency. So just add a little bit more water. I put in two bouillon cubes. Uh, so that, that, you know, should be enough for like two cups of water. If you need to do more than that, you might want to put in a little more bouillon cubes. But that was sort of my rough estimation. I'm also, uh, there's also the juice that's in the pumpkin. So I figured there's probably about a cup of juice there. Uh, and I just put in almost a cup of water, so yeah, that should be good. So I'm going to pop this in a solar oven, we'll get it cooking, uh, and then later on I'll run the immersion blender through it, and I'll oftentimes add a little bit of salt oh, later, or oh, some pepper, oh yeah, some of the, some of the pepper, uh, some salt, or specifically some black pepper later on to uh, just sort of spice up the taste later. But it's a great healthy, healthy, healthy food that you can eat, there's a lot of vitamins in the, in the pumpkin, and it's a great way of using uh, vegetables that are really easy for most people across the United States anyway to grow without any problem. And if you don't have a cow, you know, just stock some, some uh, evaporated condensed milk. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.